In this video, we are going to understand the principle and the software paradigm for R. First of all, if we have to be precise, R is not really a statistical software per se. In fact, it is rather a programming language with some user-friendly interfaces. Yet, the distinction is very difficult to draw between software and programming language. For example, MATLAB is a programming language since it has its own syntax, own peculiarities and hard coding can be done without using one of the many user-friendly features. On the other hand, MATLAB has also progressively become a commercial software with very sophisticated features for increasing the productivity of the user. Features like debugging environment, environment for code development, providing user-friendly interfaces to perform sophisticated statistical tasks. These are all things that MATLAB and a lot of other programming languages have introduced to make themselves more accessible to users. So the distinction between what is really a software and what is a programming language is getting more and more blurred. One of the main features of R is that it is object oriented and almost non-declarative. In this regard, it is a close cousin to recent languages such as C++ or Java or Python. So if you have a programming background or if you know languages such as C++ or Java or Python, then picking up R is going to be relatively easier for you. There have been a lot of recent endeavors intended to enhance the user friendliness of R and to address a broader programmer base. So there have been a lot of attempts to make R more user friendly to develop GUIs that will allow programmers to perform more sophisticated tasks through the press of a button. There are uh, many graphical user interfaces that have been developed by several programmers and research groups around the world. There are uh, GUIs like R Commander, RKWOD and Rattle which are uh, fairly popular. The first example is R Commander or the R CMDR package. This is one of the most sophisticated in R. Its features are still relatively limited compared to SAS or SPSS GUIs. So while this is the most sophisticated R GUI, if you compare it with the GUIs that are uh, offered by SAS or SPSS, the commercial tools, then it is still very, very limited. It consists of some additions to the R basic GUI, which is also called the uh, R GUI that we will describe in uh, more detail in a few slides. And R Commander has a lot of plugins to perform operations specific to certain statistical methods like multivariate regression, neural networks or financial engineering, etc. So if you are performing any of these specific tasks, then using the R Commander GUI will basically make your task a lot easier and a lot faster. Instead of writing codes, you will be pressing some buttons in order to perform the task. The R Commander GUI also helps uh, you manage data or uh, integration with Excel through the R Excel package and integration with other tools through certain packages. So that is also handled through the R Commander GUI. RKWOD is another GUI that allows the user to edit code, perform statistical tests on data, create basic graphics, etc. Rattle is a prettier GUI that uh, enables data set management, visualization of data, supervised or unsupervised learning as well. And uh, for more sophisticated data analysis based on Bayesian approach, a GUI such as OpenBugs can also be found. So these are all examples of the many GUIs or add-ins that you can add to the generic R basic platform to do your own tailored analysis. Now R can be compared to any other language or statistical software. However, it makes sense to compare R with the standards in the business analytics industry. So the two most popular tools, Excel or Excel-like spreadsheets and SAS. We won't spend much time on spreadsheets because probably most of you have already used it to some extent. Excel and its derivatives are by far the most popular solution in business analytics and almost every organization uses it in some way or the other. 
The Excel paradigm relies on filling cells with virtually anything you want or can and establishing links between these cells. Excel is very suitable for simple applications such as relatively simple equations or data spread over uh, maybe 10 rows by 10 columns on a few sheets. Beyond these numbers, the size of the model makes it hard to manage and it is actually quite difficult to be sure which errors are uh, avoided. So Excel is very useful for limited amounts of data but once the size of the data starts to increase then Excel becomes very error prone. For example, a PwC and KPMG study published in 2005 concluded that more than 90% of corporate spreadsheets contained errors leading to billions of dollars of losses. So that's the inherent weakness of Excel-like tools and uh, that's why for more complex problems or to perform more refined statistical analysis, Excel is too limited and not reliable. Although some smart programmers might tell you that uh, they can do everything with uh, Excel or with spreadsheets, more complex analysis has to be done usually using commercial statistical software such as SAS or SPSS, Tata, etc. SAS is the most popular uh, analytical tool in most industries after, uh, of course, spreadsheets. Developed since the middle of the 70s, SAS has grown to a statistical juggernaut made of hundreds of modules performing specific analytics. One particular solution named SAS Enterprise Miner is very suited for data miners who want to do business analytics in an interactive way. So there are a couple of different versions of SAS. The base SAS version is the one where you have to write codes in order to perform tasks. The SAS Enterprise Miner has a more refined GUI where you have buttons and you have menus that you can use to perform the same tasks. The base SAS package is of course a lot cheaper than the SAS Enterprise Miner but uh, it is still a very very high cost. A base SAS package could cost anywhere from 5 lakhs to 20 lakhs for, uh, for a single person for an organization whereas SAS Enterprise Miner could run into crores of rupees as well. The one big disadvantage that uh, SAS has over R is that of data visualization features. So the SAS solution is primarily an option only for large organizations. Most small and uh, medium sized organizations are not able to afford the SAS package. That's one big advantage that SAS has uh, as compared to R which is free. The other uh, area where SAS lags behind R is the data visualization features. And uh, despite recent improvements in the SAS products, they are still quite some distance behind uh, R in terms of data visualization. Here we have screenshots of the GUIs of uh, both base SAS as well as uh, SAS Enterprise Miner.